by Kirk Newcomb for Ingo Company. We wanted to do something truly special tonight and rather bring you something special. As you know, Rockabilly started in West Tennessee, and, and we call this the home of Rockabilly. And something really special to West Tennessee is the International Rockabilly Festival, which is, goes on here in Jackson. We're coming to you right now from the fairgrounds in Jackson. With me right now is Henry Harrison, the event organizer. Now, the, the exact name of this event is? The International Rockabilly Music Festival. And it does have the international flavor. I thought it did. There are people from all over the world that are here tonight and this weekend. Yes, uh, we'll have a few from Scotland, a few from Canada, a few from England, a couple from Holland, and uh, two from Perth, Australia, that have flown all the way to Jackson, Tennessee, just to come to the festival. Now, how many years has this been going on? This is our ninth year, Kurt, and next year we'll celebrate the 10th anniversary of the music festival here in Jackson, and already we're planning a major uh, event for the coming year, as well as finishing this one tonight in great fashion. Tonight, we're celebrating the ninth anniversary of the festival, and it has grown each year. The performers get better in telling their stories, presenting their music, and tonight will be no exception when we start with little David Wilkins from West Tennessee, when we go to W.S. Holland doing the tribute to Johnny Cash, when we then we'll switch over to hear Narvel Feltz do the song of the year of his in the 1970s, plus all of the other number one hits. Behind that will come Sonny Burgess and the Pacers, who started the craze of jumping from the stage, playing guitar to the front row band uh, uh, spectators in the 50s. Van Halen, all the big guys do it now. And they started it in 55 and 56 with a song called Red-Headed Woman. They will perform that again tonight here in the Fairgrounds building. You're a homegrown boy, actually, out of Parsons, even though your career was in Nashville. I came from Parsons, and I moved to Nashville in 1964. Okay. But I played all over Jackson when I was trying to get into the music business. W.S. Holland got me my first deal with Sam Phillips' Sun Records. And then when they closed that down, I went to Nashville right. and recorded for Owen Bradley and uh, on MCA, and that's where we had most of our hits. And... Of course, uh, I always credit the song that put me in the business was a song I wrote for Brenda Lee called Coming On Strong. And that was a, a, a top ten uh, pop hit. It was my first million seller. And uh, uh, then I've got 96 songs out by other artists. Uh, Conway Twitty had a number one record with George Keats pulling on my ring and Charlie Pride and just people like that, you know. You've also got a signature song that I believe you performed as well, and it's called... One Monkey Don't Stop No Show is my first top ten record. What is that about? It's a, it's, it's a little crazy, but <laughs> it's still uh, it's kind of funny. I think kids like it more than adults, so... And there's no children here tonight. I guess I'll do it anyway, though. <laughs> We've always enjoyed uh, the music tremendously. If it's good music, we're there. We go to a lot of rockabilly festivals through the year, and this will now push one of them out because this has been wonderful. And anytime you can get Matchbox by Carl Perkins playing, we want to be there. You can find out more about In Good Company anytime on the web at WBBJTV.com and go to In Good Company. Also, you can see the exclusive interviews with Henry Harrison and Little Davy Wilkins in their entirety at WBBJTV.com. In Good Company is sponsored by Robert's Jewelers.